What to expect from your first sclerotherapy appointment? When you decide it's time to do away with unsightly spider veins or varicose veins, one of your top treatment choices is sclerotherapy. The procedure is simple, takes under an hour, and you can get back to your daily activities when it's over. Here's a look at what you can expect during your first sclerotherapy appointment. How sclerotherapy eliminates varicose veins and spider veins. During sclerotherapy, a medicated solution or foam is injected into the targeted veins. The medication irritates the vein wall and makes the walls stick together. Before long, scarring develops, your body gradually reabsorbs the damaged tissues and your veins are eliminated. The medications used for sclerotherapy come in two forms, liquid and foam. What to expect during sclerotherapy? Before treatment, a local anesthetic is often administered, especially if the veins being treated are deep below the surface. It is often performed using ultrasound. The real-time imaging also gives him the ability to see the needle and guide its placement in the vein. When one injection is finished, a compression pad is applied to the site, and we move on to the next injection. For the last step, compression stockings are placed on your legs and your sclerotherapy procedure is finished. The first sclerotherapy procedure for most patients takes about 30 to 60 minutes. What happens after your sclerotherapy treatment? You can get up and walk after your treatment is done. In fact, we encourage walking to prevent potential complications like blood clots. You'll find that your post-procedure instructions are minimal. If you had facial veins treated, you'll need to protect the area from sunlight for a few weeks. The injections may leave slight inflammation and redness that can turn into dark spots on your skin if they're exposed to ultraviolet light. You'll also need to avoid hot baths, as well as aspirin, ibuprofen, and other anti-inflammatory medications for 48 hours after your procedure. Potential Side Effects Caused by Sclerotherapy Some patients develop bruising or red areas at the injection site. Redness generally disappears in a few days, while bruising is gone in a few weeks. In the days or weeks after sclerotherapy, small blood vessels sometimes appear in the treated area. These vessels are temporary and disappear in a few months, 